When I'm writing, it's about the page. Hey, today we're talking about how I approach script writing. I've written a few scripts by now and I want to share with you some of the steps that I take to approach my writing. We're going to make this very easy and just break them down into five steps. Step number one, never sit in front of an empty page. For me, that's the problem that I hear people complaining about it the most. They look at that empty page and they just struggle and they the fear creeps in and you just don't know what to do. What do you do when no words come to you, when nothing makes sense, when hours go by and you just can't put words into paper? Well, simply don't. I do not sit in front of the computer to do writing if I don't have anything to write, which leads us straight to the second step, which is note stuff down. On your phone, notebook, piece of paper, whatever you want, have always something that is there for you to take notes on. Our brain tends to, whenever it goes into autopilot, whatever you're doing something throughout your day that you do it every time. So if you eat cereal every day in the morning, usually when you're eating cereal, you're not thinking about what you're eating, your brain goes elsewhere. Those moments is where you might start piecing together things that you haven't thought about it. And that might feel to you like a great idea for a film or a great play or this funny scene or whatever. Make sure you have something at your reach at old times where you can put that down to paper so that we can work with that later. Step number three is the energy boost. We all have parts of the day that is optimized. We either morning people or evening people, some people feel better on the weekend, some people love Mondays, Fridays, whatever it is for you. Uh, first thing in the morning for me tends to be the best. My mind feels pretty clear. I feel rested and kind of ready. You found your optimized time and you found the time of the day that you kind of are more laser focused and it works the best for you. I want you to try and allocate 20 minutes with no distractions for the writing. And you're not trying to do the best ever first draft of anything. You're trying to put words into paper. I don't want you to look as a blank page. I don't want you to focus on names, scenes, structure, or even spelling. I want you to just put words into paper. You're avoiding that empty page. You're avoiding the overthinking of nothing. You're putting yourself into a position where you're trying to brain dump pretty much. You're trying to take everything out of your mind into a page. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be narratively correct. It doesn't have to be structural. You just want to words out. Step number four is edit, 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 edit. Your script will always need revisions. It will always need to be better. What we did the previous step was putting words into paper. Now, what we're doing in step four is rearranging them, giving them more character, giving them more structure, giving them a background, giving them a room to breathe, pacing out the story. The goal here is to kind of pick a segment. So I want to focus on character A. And I'm going to go through the whole script now, focusing on his character, how he is as a person. I want that to come across every time he's on screen, the, the way he moves or the way he reacts and all those things. I'm passing through the script, focusing on that one character. Your goal here is to edit and work it out the script and start stretching it and giving it attention and giving it depth and giving it all the thoughts and character that it requires. Now is when you're developing the script. You're going around the idea of starting with an empty page straight into editing some words. Something that I tend to do as well in my scripts, I tend to just throw questions in there, either as a way to question myself, to question the character, uh, to question the direction of the film is going. So those things tend to be really good to kind of help you structure where you're going and what you're doing. Step number five, which is get someone to help you. Get a friend, partner, a neighbor, or whoever you can. It doesn't have to be a film related person. It doesn't have to be someone that necessarily understands uh, script structure. Just get someone to read your script and if possible, ask them to focus on a particular aspect of your film. So let's say you just wrote a comedy between three people in a bar. Ask them to read that and it's like, does it feel like it's in a bar? How is the comedy? Uh, how is this character? How is their chemistry? Especially if you're dealing with people that are not too into film, 
uh, kind of highlighting the things that you want them to focus on will help them understand what you want from their feedback. It will always give you an overall feedback of the film. So that general feedback will come anyways. But if you ask for something more specific, you're going to get a little more out of it. So yeah, this is my process. It's not perfect, it's not bulletproof, it doesn't always work. But having kind of like a strategy to approach my scripts helped me write quite a few of them. So whenever I want to make a film, I get really excited to do the writing because I want to make sure it works exactly as I thought. I hope this was helpful for you in any way. I would love to hear your process and how you approach your writing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.